Hi, this is Sebastian Vettel and Daniel Ricciardo. We're off to the new Austrian Grand Prix. So here we are heading to Central Europe towards Austria and on to the lush green of Styria on the way to the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg. Styria is one of Austria's most beautiful landscapes at the foot of the Alps. They call it the green heart of Austria. Before we go down to the racetrack, here are a few highlights. One more hilltop and there it is, the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg. 71 laps, clockwise, 120 minutes, 307 kilometers race distance. These are the three sectors. Nine turns with four possible overtaking opportunities. What's the most striking here are the differences in altitude. It's 60 meters from the lowest to the highest point. The speed graph shows the distribution of speeds over the track and the g-forces at work in the corners. Four high-speed stretches, two of them are DRS activation zones. Christian, radio check. Radio check is okay. Let's do a time lap. All right, here we go then. Let's have some fun. Come on, hit the gas. Have a good start and focus on turn one. A sharp right-hand corner at the end of the main straight. Traction is important as you head out onto the longest straight. You can get up to 300 and more here, climbing to the track's highest point. Think about brake bars for turn two. Okay, understood. Turn two awaits at the top. A hairpin corner, the best chance to overtake, and the toughest braking maneuver from over 300 down to about 50. I think I may have flat spotted the front right. Understood. Early on the throttle, slightly downhill to turn three. Downhill braking from 300 into a sharp right. Bit of a tricky spot. It weighs a thousand tons, a real piece of art. Round the steel bull statue, we come into a fast downhill passage. Technically the most demanding section of all. Heading constantly downhill with very short braking distances of less than 50 meters, you can get up to cornering speeds of around 200. Even if you've been keeping firmly to the outside, you're bound to end up on the inside after turn six. We're getting reports of a few spots of rain on the circuit. Be careful, it's getting wet. Copy that. Turn 8 is the fastest corner on the track and slopes off to the outside. The lateral g-force is quite tough here. You can really feel it in your neck. Another short straight, still heading downhill. You could easily lose it here when it's wet. Down we go into the last turn. Quick tyre change. The wet tyres will do much better now. Well done. A good lap in tricky conditions. Thanks. I'm sure it's going to be an exciting race. Yeah. Can't wait for the lights to go out.